Hello and welcome to BitSplits channel. My name is Luca and this video is my response to one of my favorite YouTube users McMerlin invitation to go hunting around for mechanical keyboards. Last week I have been allowed to visit a company that went bankrupt and they were selling all the company old stuff. I spent almost one day digging old office equipment inside an enormous shed. Here is what I found. Here we have the first keyboard. What is that? An IBM KB8926 rubber dome keyboard? A damned rubber dome! Let's get immediately rid of it. Now let's try again. Oh, here it is, a mechanical keyboard. This is an NTC KB6252 from uh, Nantan Computer uh, Corporation uh, and uh, it's a Taiwanese company. Let's check what type of switches it mounts. These are white Alps on single shot thin keycaps. And here is the back. I think I'll just harvest the keycaps from this one. Next one is also an NTC KB6252. It's identical to the first one and with white alp switches. Now I have again an uh, NTC KB6252, this time Holidata branded. Now, ironically, these three keyboards were used in a cement plant. Can you imagine that? That's why these switches sound so scratchy. It will take a great deal of work to clean them all and bring them back to life, if ever. I found the company labels on the bottom, so I know for sure which company was the owner of these three keyboards. Now a better find. This is an Acer 6012, date code April 1990, with an ISO layout. 
There's a dedicated page on Dextority, and if you're curious, I left a link down below. This one uh, has white alp switches and single shot keycaps too. It's in a way better shape than uh, the other ones. Maybe I can and I will restore this one. This is a Bull Kestar 205. This is a terminal keyboard sold by Bull, a French company, and maybe used with the Bull servers. This is really manufactured by WISE Corporation and it's very similar to the WISE PCE Terminal Series keyboards. This one has Smooth Cherry MX black switches. Keycaps are very shiny so I think I'll just harvest the switches from uh, this one. Near the bull keyboard, uh, there was a wise PCE terminal keyboard. This one is in good shape. One key is stuck, but should not be a problem to fix it. This one also has Cherry MX black switches. This keyboard is in very good conditions, so I think I'll clean it, retrobrite it and upgrade it.
I salvaged also this one. It's a Honeywell uh, micro switch model uh, 78 uh, SD11, and the switches are Honeywell uh, Hall Effect. The keyboard is damn and dirty, but fully functional. Keycaps are gorgeously thick double shots. I think I, that I'll just clean it and leave it as it is. Here comes a nice one. It's a Honeywell micro switch model 86 SD23 and the switches are also Honeywell Hall Effect. And there's still the original Honeywell cable. This one has the thickest double shot keycaps I've ever seen. I cleaned the couple to check their conditions. I'll clean also this one and leave it as it is. Actually, there were two of these, one brand new and one slightly used. This is a Honeywell VIP 7251 terminal keyboard. Conditions are great and the new one is in museum quality conditions. It 
looks to me that these are all effect switches, but please correct me if I'm wrong in the discussion down below. Keycaps are again uh, thick double shots and I really like the color set. Last but not least, an Olivetti WS605 terminal keyboard in like new conditions. This one apparently was not produced by Olivetti, since it's identical to the Motorola M220 or the T220 terminal keyboard or the McDonnell Douglas Prism P9 or maybe it's a cousin of the Ampex 210 terminal keyboard. This keyboard has a very smooth Cherry MX blacks and double shot keycaps. I leave this one intact since it's so new. That's all for today. If you have questions or uh, you have more information about these keyboards, please insert it in the comments and if you enjoyed my video, please leave a like down below. Apologizing for the bad audio, I leave you with a brand new VIP7251 terminal keyboard. See you at the next pile of trash. Ciao ciao!